Look at that, I got a little bit of, little bit of facial hair going. Well, we know that's not gonna last long. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mo Show, the show that happens two times week to week or back to back every week and then gets cancelled for like five months because that's exactly what I did last time I decided to bring the show back. So uh, next episode is going to be coming out in about a year. Anyway, as you guys know, I now live here alone. I don't really do much other than make videos. So uh, it's not the most exciting thing to blog, but uh, I did get a new computer this week and you can see my old one back there. So I'm going to be including a bunch of random clips as to when all those pieces came in and whatnot. And that happened actually a few days ago. It's almost been a week since I have my new computer now finally set up and ready to go. But I wanted to make this clip now because some a bit of a current event that is happening is I'm going to be uploading all of my really, really old skits videos to my second channel, Ariel R, uh, which I'll link down in the description. They're very, very bad, but I decided that those videos should be archived somewhere on the internet because they were at one point, and I'm not really ashamed because they are old videos. I made them when I was like 14, 13, I don't even know how old I was. Way too young for YouTube, basically. Uh, so if you want to check those out, they'll be uploaded on my second channel, which uh, I, no I don't really use, so don't expect anything on it, but if you want to check those out, go and go to that channel and they'll be uploaded eventually. I don't know if I'll upload them all today, but go and check that out. Anyway, to recap sort of what I did this week, other than replace this giant piece of machinery, I tried working on something for the stream wall and it ended up being this, which is a giant sort of mural of Pokemon cards. I have way too many Pokemon cards and I don't really play the game at all, so I tried to make a mural out of them and there's a lot of cards in there, there's probably over a hundred, and it ended up not even covering like a third of the wall, so what I did instead, I should put this in my room, probably not, it's a little bit too excessive, but if we head over here, you can see that I just put up these little guys over, and you may have seen those already if you checked out my stream the other day. By the way, I've been doing a lot more Wi-Fi battles, I actually finally have some Pokemon, sort of, and I suck at it, but I'm trying to get better, so check out the stream as well, I think I'm going to do one later today. Uh, but we got Mega Charizard, a thing I don't really ever use on any teams, but Infernape, my favorite Pokemon, well, almost favorite Pokemon, Monferno's technically my favorite, but you know, Infernape is the one that's competitively sort of viable. Uh, Lord Helix himself is on the wall, and then we have the actual god, Stunfisk, and Rayquaza, uh, which I guess I did for a friend, but then I ended up really liking it, so... It's on the wall and it looks really, really cool. And then Fabby the Beast. You guys know Fabby the Beast. But yeah, that is pretty much it for that update. So I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to just throw in some random vlogs that I did throughout the week. Just talking about life, building my computer, and uh, having a good time. Uh, sort of. For today, the priority is going to be building that computer. And I don't really know why I put my glasses on when I do these videos because I only really need them to look from far away, like, I'm um, taking driving lessons, actually, I took two of those now, and I really, really suck at it, but, yeah, I need my glasses for that, but whenever I'm just making a vlog, I don't really need them, or when I'm on the computer, because they're kind of for looking from far away, though I guess I should wear them all the time, I don't really know, is that a bad thing, am I gonna become blind eventually, actually, when I went to the eye doctor, they said I might be developing glaucoma, which I don't really know what it is, but it sounds kind of bad, so maybe I should wear them, let me go ahead and... I can't, they don't. Oh my gosh, the sunlight, it burns my face. I've really become a Twilight vampire today. Look at this, this is just crazy. Let's take a step back and uh, not be vampires once again. But uh, sort of a random crazy story that happened today. Uh, so I was pretty much standing here waiting for the UPS truck the entire day. It sounds a little sad, but I was really, really excited for this computer. So I was standing here just watching for the UPS truck uh, and hoping that those parts would come in and then I get a knock on the door and I'm like, OMG, it's here! The parts are here! So when I go to open the door, it actually ends up not being the UPS guy that I thought it would be and it's actually this girl collecting money for kids in need of education and food in other countries and so she came in and uh, talked about it and all that so apparently now I am... I have a kid in the Philippines or something, I don't really know. In like a few weeks, I guess I should be getting a picture of that kid and that sounds interesting, so I guess now I have a son or daughter out there that I am taking care of in the Philippines. 
That's really interesting. The girl also saw my Nintendo, which is somewhere back there, and she's like, yeah, I should come by and play sometime. And I mean, I'm totally down for that, except that uh, all I got was her name, so maybe I should work on being better at that. But uh, if you somehow end up watching this, you know, you should totally come back. I'm totally not creepy and alone here all the time, crying in the corner, alone, watching Frozen every day, every night every second of my life. So enough dilly-dallying and telling random stories. I still don't know if I say that right, dilly-dallying. I don't really know. It's time to put on another random hat, this time uh, this, because apparently it's cold in some places, but not here anymore, and get to building that computer, because that's the goal of today's video. And I haven't even started on it yet. As I said, we're building a computer today. All of the pieces have finally arrived. I ordered this because my current computer, as you guys know, has been having sort of issues with recording and streaming, and so here are all the parts. I'm going to go ahead and open them all. Uh, so this will be more of a, a nerdy video, I guess, to those of you that have always wondered what my computer and stuff is. So uh, this is going to be my new powerhouse, starting off with an SSD, which is, I guess, what I'm going to install the operating system on uh, so it can run faster. And we've got a motherboard going on. Ooh. I like this little flappy, not flappy bird, it's flappy saber tooth. Don't really know what it is, but uh, Asus, pretty good. Whoa. Okay, they lost. So uh, moving along over here, these arrived today, so finally I can build this. Today's Friday, by the way. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but I got my box cutter. Can this, like, do an epic zoom in? Oh my gosh, look at the rust on that box cutter. Man, I don't really want to end up getting an accidental cut with this. Would probably not be very good. There's always this. This is my favorite kind of wrapping thing. Because, you know, they can put those foam peanuts. But foam peanuts can never... Can never... Foam peanuts can never... Foam peanuts can never... Oh. My God. Just pretend that that popped. Foam peanuts can never pop like that, so... Here we have, uh, I think this might be Windows 7, uh, probably, I don't really know. And then uh, the processor we're going to be using, the heart of the computer. On top of that, we've got a little bit of a sum that's state of the art. Oh look, maybe I can do it again. Fo foam peanuts can never, oh my god, let's put it on the floor. Foam peanuts can never pop. Oh, look at that, it took like 17 tries. Oh, now we can do it with all of them though. Yeah, I love this, man. This is, ooh, okay. What am I, 12? I don't know, probably. But here is the um, what a, the graphics card that we're going to use. It's a GTX 760, but, but there's two of them. I wish it was two for the price of one, but know that they were two for the price of two. But finally, we have the case, uh, the CPU cooler, and a couple of other components I'm just going to take from my old computer, because they're still pretty new. It's just the motherboard on my old computer is kind of broken. But this is the case. I know you really can't see it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and unpack all this stuff, and uh, then we'll see them in their true light. One eternity later. Oh my gosh, we're finally done. I got a flashlight somewhere around here, so we can look at it. This is the world's first pot-powered computer. Look, it says it right there. Hi, pot. Okay, look at that. So it's finally done, guys. Let me zoom out a little bit here and we'll take a look at the final product you can see everything is in there it's a little crammed but i think it should be okay because it's got like a million fans uh the sli going on there the dual uh what are those i, I don't even know anymore it says it right there you can read it upside down but yeah everything is now in there so it is time to take the computer and see if it actually turns on this case is really really nice because it's actually got like a like a carrying handle, so we can pick that up. Oh my god, look at how strong I am. Got a big, giant moment of truth. We just have to take this right here and put it in, in there, somewhere. There it is. All right, here we go. Please don't explode. Man, if this actually exploded right now, I would not be very happy, and also probably not very much alive. So there we go. I plugged everything in. Now we just gotta go to the computer and see if it actually works. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, I don't know if I just turned it on or off. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but push that. 
power button and it didn't do anything. So I guess we turned it off. And once again, push the power button and... And nothing happened once again. Well, I guess we failed. I'm a spooky ghost here to take your soul. Ooh. Okay.